Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we began a new course on the logistics of stock trading with a look at exactly what a stock is and why firms would choose to raise money by issuing stock versus the other methods that are available. In today's lesson we're going to continue this discussion with a look at the facility through which stocks are made available to the public, the stock exchange. So let's get started. Unlike the over-the-counter forex market which we learned about in our last course, most stocks are traded on an exchange. While this may not seem like information that is relevant to the individual trader, an understanding of the role an exchange plays in the market is essential to understanding how the different exchanges operate and therefore how to play stock trades. At its very core, a stock exchange provides one central place where all buyers and sellers for a particular stock send their orders. This brings about several key features which include number one, price transparency. Because all trades for a stock flow through one exchange, this means that everyone sees and has the opportunity to execute on the same exact price as everyone else. Number two is a central method for clearing trades. In an exchange traded market, there is what is known as a clearing firm, which normally is a triple A rated institution that is counterparty to all trades. What this means is that while you may be buying 100 shares of Microsoft from Joe in Indiana who is selling 100 shares of Microsoft, the counterparty to both your buy order and Joe's sell order is the clearinghouse. This is probably the biggest differentiator between over-the-counter markets and exchange traded markets as this essentially eliminates the worry that the person on the other side of your trade will not deliver on their obligations. Number three is a regulatory framework. The exchanges provide a standardized regulatory framework that all participants must adhere to and a method for resolving disputes should they arise. This makes people more comfortable and more likely to trade, which increases liquidity. Number four is liquidity. Liquidity is basically how much of a particular instrument can be traded without affecting its price, which is directly related to the volume or number of buyers and sellers transacting at any one time. Providing the deepest liquidity is a primary goal of all financial markets, and of all the features of an exchange that we have just discussed are in place to increase liquidity. Because exchanges provide one place for all traders who are interested in trading a particular stock or other security to trade, this makes it much easier for companies to raise money through, pub through a public offering than it otherwise would be and drives costs down for traders and everyone else involved as well. That's our lesson for today. In our next lesson, we'll begin looking at the major U.S. stock exchanges and how they operate starting with a look at the U.S.'s oldest stock exchange, the New York Stock Exchange. As always, if there are any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and good luck with your trading.